Hello and welcome to the second part of the XCOM 2 playthrough. I'm really excited to get on playing now. Uh, the first part, it was fantastic. It was just the tutorial, told us the basic story. And I already like, it was so much better than XCOM 1. And I mean, we all love XCOM 1 and th this was even better. Uh, it told us a story, what's been going on since the last game. Apparently, uh, we lost the war, uh, we got captured. And during the tutorial mission, uh, we got set free. So now we are back in business, and let's um, let's see what they have to say. What's going on? But this this is fantastic this far. Really enjoying myself. Impressive, isn't it? Capable of generating immense power, yet completely harmless to human life. If only the same could be said for the rest of the aliens' technology, Commander. Dr. Richard Tigan, Chief Science Officer. I am responsible for the entirety of our research here, as well as the procedure you so recently underwent. Welcome to my lab, such as it is. So I'm we have not a new sure doctor what Central may have told you, but we on. found something while removing you from the alien stasis suit. A device implanted directly in your occipital lobe. Had I access to the equipment available to me during my tenure at Advent, I would already know the precise nature of its function. However, given time and your approval, of course, Commander, I assure you, I will find out. Which brings to light an additional point. Though aspects of this facility are indeed impressive, I am but one man. Were you to direct additional support personnel and resources to me, I could substantially improve the speed of all our research. A farewell, Commander. On your order, Commander. I will begin researching the Advent chip for possible insights as to its function. Well, this looks uh, familiar compared to XCOM 1. Basically, um, same research window. Uh, only difference is we have a new researcher um, let's see if we get to know what happened uh, to the old one later on. Maybe we get to know. I'll see that work begins immediately, Commander. I'll contact you when I have a full report available. That research will keep Tigan busy for a while. In the meantime, you might want to head down to the armory. And I guess uh, Commander, to the armory. we will explore a lot of things here at our base. So I guess this is going to be the start. So, uh, yeah, let's do some exploring and uh, I guess we'll get a cinematic uh, uh, at every place now in the beginning. So I will be, be talking a bit less, uh, just enjoying the cinematics, enjoying the story. And then obviously when we get to the missions and the game begins for real, then there will be a lot more talking for good and bad. So yeah, let's uh, take a look at the armory then. Commander, Jane Kelly was instrumental in the op to get you back. She earned enough experience for a promotion. We should take care of that now. So yeah, we have a promotion here. Let's see how this looks. The Ranger serves as our primary reconnaissance unit, capable of moving independently in concealment while engaging enemies at close range. That looks really cool. Is he going to be fighting with a sword? That looks very cool. I'm not sure if it's going to be effective, uh looked really cool. And obviously Ranger is a new class. Yeah, that's like that's really hardcore. If you're going to go in close combat with an alien fighting with a sword. I mean what's not to love about that? Looks sounds fantastic and looking forward We're off to seeing to a good action. Start. Our troops will only get stronger as they gain experience. Commander, to the bridge. I'm kind of like, yeah, I want to check like things out. Oh, I guess we're going to wait for it uh, a little bit. Because uh, uh, probably the story will take us uh, through most of the places here. I heard you, Shen. When we get the thing, you'll be the first to know. Attention, unauthorized presence detected. Commander! Give me a second. Execute Echelon Protocol. Attention. Senior Command Exchange confirmed. I had wanted that to be a little more... ceremonious. But we've got something. 
A local resistance cell just located this hybrid magnetic power converter that Shen's been pushing us to find. They tracked the device to a nearby advent convoy and are attempting to take it down. If we can bring this converter back in one piece, we might actually get this place up and running and give the aliens a real war for a change. The squad is prepped and ready to launch on your order, Commander. Just give the word. So we have a squad here. Uh, only starting out with uh, with four Solvi slots then I guess. Uh, probably going to be like XCOM 1 that you will uh, unlock more uh, Solvi slots so you can send uh, more more people out for the missions. Uh, but yeah we start, uh, and I'm not surprised it's an easy mission and I guess like uh, in uh, XCOM 1 that we could edit. No we're not allowed to edit. Can, I can change a few things up, although we don't have anything to change it up with, so I guess the uh, game will probably show us a bit more about it later, so I think we are good for now, so yes, let's, let's launch a mission and see what happens. Uh, but what we got our experienced girl here, uh, Kelly, and uh, she's bringing a few rockets uh, to the field. Let's see how it goes. Our first ever XCOM 2 mission, if you don't uh, count that uh, tutorial. Communications with resistance forces in the area have gone dark, which can only mean one thing. These people sacrificed everything to give us this shot. We need to recover that converter at all costs. Yeah, let's launch then. Yeah, the game looks great this far. Commander, so much better than XCOM 1. On the device, but it looks like it may have been damaged during the fight. Energy readings are going crazy. I'm guessing we don't have much time before it explodes. Shen's working on a way to stabilize that thing, provided we can get close enough to access its core. Stay in the shadows until we can get a better read on the situation. Oh, this could be a good place for a sniper, but we don't have any yet, so... Yes, since this is an easy mission, we don't have to worry too much. But if we were playing like old school uh, Iron Man and uh, doing things like X1, I will probably go around and see if I can go after those positions and uh, see what happens. But still, don't uh, underestimate the game, so let's uh, move slowly and overwatch a lot. Scanning. I don't like um, the lack of good uh, cover here at all. It might be a mistake to stay this close. Because I, I just get a feeling from, from X1 like when you have two the soldiers this close and then you just throw a grenade and both of them are, are out. But uh, I mean, it's not F XCOM if they're not dying, is it? Explorando. Because uh, XCOM is good at uh, at giving you a decent ass. That's quickly. affirmative. But since this is the first mission, it's the easy one. Eyes on the prize. Maybe it's easy, but I mean, could definitely die early in XCOM uh, on one. On the move. I'm not that keen on that car, but the fire, because in XCOM one, <laughs> car suffice meant. Uh, Explosion and then my soul is dying. Moving to Overwatch. Je bouge. Now we can Sans open vigilance. it, but I'm not sure if we should. But mean that we Confirmado. open it and look uh, like a soldier in the face. Hi, Joe boy. 
Moving out. I'm on it. Je crois qu'on n'est pas seul. Oh, we can maybe get that. Actually, I think I'm going to open this one to see what's inside, but this could not to like no cover up here, but would be a good position to uh, shooting. Camera is a lot quicker in headed there now. This one. It's got it covered. So let's see if we can open it. So it's locked. Can we hack it? Yeah, we could. Inside. Well, let's sure, see. This, this is a risky move. This is a very risky move. Because we... We are pretty out in the open there. And, and uh, the song is they are speaking uh, whatever language uh, uh, the nation they are from. That's kind of cool. And it's an option. You can turn it off if you if you don't want to. I felt like I wanted to try it out. So where the hell are they? I'm on the move. Should be seeing them soon, I feel. Eyes on the prize. Ordre bien reçu. J'y vais. I'm keeping Tout it. It's like a good place to go watching. Yeah, boy. The oh. Advent officers seem more capable than the grunts. We're not sure whether to chalk it up to training or stricter mind control. Commander, we have a chance to do some serious damage here. Before jumping into combat, let's make sure we make the most of our advantage. Yeah, I definitely would like to... Uh, Vista en el objetivo. So I wonder is that their whole squad or is there more soldiers over here? Headed there now. Overwatch. Will they see him? Will he shoot, maybe? Close do we want to get? Moving to designated coordinates. Affirmative. Covering now. Because if there's no soldiers over here, it actually move him closer to them. Position confirmed. Make anything for having him standing up there if uh, if he can't reach any uh, any of the enemies. What would be a good position for him? Probably want to move him around Bien. a bit there. Or to see him or, or not. Orders confirmed. On the move. Moving to Overwatch. So I'm a bit worried that only like one of our guys will be in range and then the Overwatch will trigger and start shooting. Commander, we're running out of time here. If oh, we don't it's a timer. The converter soon, I, don't think I didn't going even notice today. the timer. I will play it completely different if I have noticed the timer. That's definitely a mistake by me. Now they should notice him at least. Yeah. But yeah, I did notice. This is a new thing in in XCOM 2 that most missions have a have a timer. So that was a big mistake by me. Definitely a big mistake. So let's see. 54 41. This is not a tutorial, so not going to be as easy. This is um, a cool location. chance. Let's see. 56. Hold on, let me sit. Yeah. That was a yeah, bit uh, optimistic. 
So can we take this lot and bring him into a better position? No, we can't because we already moved. But we are forced to take a pretty bad shot again. Definitely a mistake by me that, uh, that I didn't notice the, the turn, turn counter. Because uh, I would obviously have uh, moved a lot, a lot quicker if I if I had noticed that one. Bien sûr. En route vers la cible. Getting so small percentages here. To see. I mean, we are really close there. I feel Allez, like that should have been uh, like at least 60%. Rangers are uniquely equipped for close quarters combat. But this is the right cool. situation. It can prove highly effective. This looks really okay. So we can actually choose their side attack direction. This sounds so cool. Like, could we? Could we? On the move. I just need to try this one. It would be fantastic. Objective position confirmed. If we could. Okay, you should be able to hack into that thing's safety protocols and stabilize it. Shen is uploading the fix right now. So, I want to. I don't want to fire a weapon. I this I want to try the slash. Might be a mistake. Yeah, and this is a smaller chance on succeeding. But it looks so cool. I need to check it out. Yeah, this could mean um, the end of her. We didn't kill her. You know, it's his turn. And he's not going to miss that shot. Yeah, it might be game over for her. They're repositioning on us. Why didn't shoot? I guess this is because of um, because of uh, this is the like easy introduction mission. Let's just take somebody else because she's already have been promoted. Oh, the small soul, yes, yeah. Let's take that one. Let's take that. Yeah, big mistake by me to not noticing yet the turn tire timer. How could this only be 67%? This is just weird. Like that, that's just silly. <laughs> but that's XCOM for you guys. That's XCOM for you, for sure. But I'm really worried now about the turn timer. I didn't see that's it at perfect. all. I guess I was uh, daydreaming or something. I'm not sure if we're going to make it. We might actually fail our first real mission just because I didn't see the turn, turn timer. So, uh, yeah, I'm definitely worried right now. Because that would be a shitty start of this uh, YouTube series if we, if we actually miss the, the first real mission. Could she take a fantastic long shot? I'm gonna dash over here. Good to go. I need to get really close to it. Because next time, turn it will be. Oh, it was another soul. Yeah, I smooth there. This is bad news. This is really bad news. Marked. I'm not sure what that is. Me disparan. Yeah, I'm <laughs> definitely stressed right now. Commander, the converter is near collapse. It's about to blow. Yeah, I know. You don't need to tell me about that. <laughs> this was so very bad. Okay, time to do some risky business then. Time to offer everything for the converter. What can we do? to put herself in some like, this is definitely not a normal way we play it but uh, we need to take them out badly oh, he survived we needed more damage moving to position and obviously this is a really bad position to be in the problem with the time next turn 
but we are risking everything here everything here hoping to get to it and we missed yep not even close burn it through ammo fast just want to get him down so she can move up here and try to get it so yeah, I'm going to put us in another really stupid position. Okay, this, I'm not sure if we can get the shot from here. But well, let's pray to the RNG gods. And there it is. And now let's hope she can hack it. Um, even though all the mobs are not down. Let's hope. Please. Please, please, please. Uh, we can go for the hack. Might be something interesting here. And now we have uh, our soldiers in really shitty positions, but we will most likely lose one. This uh, for that soldier they have left. I mean, we have people just standing in the open air, like with no cover. So, yeah, this is huge, huge risk for him killing somebody. Are returning to normal. Well, mostly normal. Firebrand is en route, but I wouldn't take any chances. Yeah, look at this. All remaining hostiles in the area before evac. Well, yeah, we got lucky. Uh, he didn't uh, manage to uh, to do too much damage. Moving. Oh, I guess yeah. This, I feel like in in XCOM one, I would be, be would have been uh, dead by now. Uh, I feel like that. I might be wrong. Maybe we just got lucky or something like that. Ammo out. So um, there's still enemies left because uh, I haven't uh, cleared that objective. So now it's time to get a bit more strategic again. Then first off, we could yeah move into cover okay, for her, and then we en position. oh that was bad. Misclick the key bindings. I was supposed to reload the gun and that didn't happen. So she can move here then to cover and now we're going to reload the gun. And then it's time for our, let's call her our ninja here. Because uh, she got the sword and I love it. It's, I don't want to, to trigger any enemies to close. Oh, there's some, there's some real Alien. Although they bear some resemblance to the sectoids first encountered during the invasion, their genetic structure now includes human DNA. They are stronger than ever, with so, an even greater psionic potential. What would be a good solution here? Not a great chance on hitting, so just, just move to safety here for this Moving time. Out. Let's see what we can do during the next one. What the hell was that? Oh, I guess we lost one now, probably. Or reanimated. No respite for the dead. The aliens have found a way to mind control them now. So, uh, they basically mind controlled one of our soldiers. And I'm not sure if he's alive or if he died. Because if he died, we obviously want to kill him ASAP. But if he's still alive, maybe we don't want to kill him. Taking heavy fire! That car is going to explode if this is anything like XCOM 1. So let's stay uh, away from it. Roger that. See if we can take a good shot at him. And if we can kill him, it would be fantastic, because then we would know if uh, if this one is really dead or what the hell is up with that. Oh, we need to reload, yeah. That's bad. Really bad. Because now he's loaded. exposed. And that's not what I wanted. And we can't move too close to the car. This is really risky because I'm placing them here and this lion might just go up and break them. Uh, I want to try to take out that alien before, uh, before we shoot at him. I want to trick him up, but it says this is a zombie. 
So my guess is actually uh, he's probably dead. So I guess we should kill him then. But that was not a good attempt at killing. Yeah, if it's a zombie, he, he he's dead. Yes. So we killed their guy and they brought him back as a zombie. And oh, Yeah, that's XCOM for you guys. Now I recognize it. Everything's blowing up and things are dying. No, this might be a mind control. Evac! We need emergency evac! Oh, now, damn it, now! And we lost. Yeah. Guys, this is XCOM. Now we definitely recognize it. I feel like we need to, to uh, kill that alien Isa. Because this is starting to feel like a wipe now. This is starting to feel like we could definitely die. Yeah. We're in a really shitty situation. Well, let's see what we can do. Oh uh, yeah, I fear like uh, this mission. Oh, uh, do we have an Overwatch? Yes, we have. Yeah, this mission is turning into complete into a complete nightmare. And she needs to reload, so she can't even take the shot. Yeah, guys, this is definitely, definitely XCOM. This is XCOM, this is when you get raped badly, even in um, like one of the first missions, a mission that, that the game can say is easy. I guess we have to shoot at this guy. Yeah, I feel like everything went wrong. Uh, when I didn't uh, notice the uh, turn timer at the beginning, because now I will probably gonna have another zombie. I'm not sure. No. But yeah, I feel like that's when it went wrong, because that made me like do moving ways I wouldn't have done if I weren't in lack of time. No, 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 no. Yeah, another no. one's down. But yeah, guys, this is an easy mission, and I'm getting raped. Only have two soldiers left, and Commander, one has been like panicking. We may have to adjust our approach. How much do the frag grenade do? Beat for damage. Keep thinking about different options here. This could actually be an option to get him out. Can we do that? Now let's see what we can do about this alien. On the move. Well, let's use another grenade then. Then we can remove that tree. Now, now we want, want, that's so bad, I can't believe we only have 30% chance at 4% chance. I mean, well I guess I was very lucky then. And now, now we need a miracle here. We get 51%. Let's just do it like this then. Understood. Go face Moving him. Out. Let's uh, show him we're not afraid of aliens. How could this only be 85%? This is a fucking yoke. But at least we managed to kill him. Enemies down. 
Well, would you look Status at that? Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. So, is there anything else we Got can the do? Goods. Hey guys, um, this was a really bad mission. We lost half our squad. <laughs> this is an easy mission. So this uh, XCOM 2 YouTube series is, uh, it haven't gotten the best start out there. But I mean, this is XCOM. The, things like this is supposed to happen. This is going to be uh, a tough game and it should probably make you cry every now and then. But hopefully you can bounce back, at least the mission is complete. And uh, yeah, we just need to step it up a notch. Uh, but this is basically, I think this is going to be it for today's episode. Let's just start, like, see what they say when we come back to the base. Because we're probably going to get a cinematic and I feel like that could be a good ending of, uh, of uh, this episode. Can't even click return to the base, why can't I? What's the game up to right now? Now I can do it. My guess is going to be some cinematic here when we cut back. And we get to, to know something about that thing we just uh, managed to. A few of our people learned well deserved promotions, Commander. I'm guessing Shen will probably want to have a word with you too. Yeah. Well, let's both them. Just like it sounds, our sharpshooters engage enemy targets with pinpoint accuracy from extreme range. They're also trained in pistol marksmanship for the occasional close encounter. So yeah, I guess that's uh, what they call snipers now. some of our most advanced equipment specialists deploy robotic drones on the battlefield that can be outfitted for combat or field medic duty a specialist really wounded out for 10 days yeah this uh, this mission was definitely not a success uh, I f just feel like if uh, if I hadn't, hadn't hadn't missed that uh, entire turn of timer, things would have turned out so much better. Because now we were just like forced to take huge risks and put us in a, in a position that we uh, didn't want to be in. These items should prove useful in our ongoing efforts against the aliens. When you have a moment, Commander. I have made some interesting discoveries as they relate to the implant we removed from you earlier. Why are you all just standing around? It's perfect. Come on, let's get it inside. Yeah guys, I think this is it for the second episode, um, wasn't the best of successes, but it's, uh, I feel like it's shown us what XCOM is about. So thank you so much for tuning in and I see y'all uh, during the next episode.